a divorced mom. I've got three children and uh, a granddaughter as well. I'm 43. Um, I'm mother of two. I'm divorced. I was working in Woods. I was there for five years when my mother passed away. Then all the trauma started. Actually, I ended up with depression, diabetes, all those health issues came up. The last few years have been a struggle when my husband left me and I became a single parent. So I've struggled to get a degree and I achieved that, but then I had a fall and um, had a problem with my knees, had to have an operation which was unsuccessful and I've been disabled ever since. So I worked five years to get a degree and now can't teach. With the little one from nursery up to 11, you know, you've got to be running around with them and it's impossible for me now. I'm currently not working at the moment due to my health. Um, I've got fibromyalgia and um, joint hypermobility. I've always wanted to work. I thought my health issues would get better, but they didn't. I can't explain to you how distressing and uh, how, you know, stressful all this is. And, and on occasion I've had to struggle on the bus, which, which is, is absolutely dreadful for me. I'd love to go back to work, really would, but I find day to day living hard. And just that little bit of help gives me my independence. I have tried to claim in the past uh, on my own and was refused. Originally I completed the form entirely on my own, not knowing exactly what I should be putting. They're very, very naive about the questions. And I approached them, they said, why don't you apply for uh, employment support benefit? I went through that and then what happened was that uh, when the medical point came, I didn't get enough points, so I was totally lost how to approach. They referred me to Amarjeet from Mary Ward. That was the best experience in my life because she, the first time I spoke to her, I felt so good, literally I felt that my problem is resolved. The young girl here was so helpful, Jen was, and she said, well now, to be honest with you, I think you are entitled. We should, you know, get them to review it again. I was actually awarded it, you know, eventually and it made a whole difference to my life. I went to the job centre and I said, You've I've, sent, I've, been, I've received a letter saying that I have to work. She said, no, we just want you to get into something rather than just sitting home, which is not going to be good for you. So we want you to restart your life again. At some point I was like struggling with words to say yes or no, but then I came out of it. I said, okay, I will, because she was very happy, the lady. So as soon as I came home, I applied the same day. If I hadn't had the CAB and the legal aid, you know, to access, I would have been left in the home. Um, I struggle for money as it is, but I would have been so much worse off. It's just been really helpful because, as I say, I wouldn't be able to do it on my own, I don't think. It's silly things like this that make my life better. You know, that's what gives me my quality of life. It, it's being able to enlarge on a life that's shriveled up to you basically being housebound because you can't get out. My mother has always taught me to be positive, which is very hard to work at, but I have put myself into that frame again, that if I, maybe if I stick to that, maybe I come out of the issues that I'm having now.